All new tonight at 11. It makes me feel good at least to uh, try and help these girls learn that there is a different option other than college. There is a push to encourage more women to consider careers in trade. Girl Scouts from all over the state spent the day learning new trades today. Chelsea's Agalau shows us some of the new skills that they were taught. These Girl Scouts are using hammers and nails. They're sanding toolboxes and learning the options are endless. I like the part that it's interactive and that you can experience part of what you would be doing if you actually did the job. Natalie Atkins hopes to become a carpenter one day, and the annual Girl Scout Building Trades Day is a way for her to gain experience doing what she loves. Most of the time you expect men to do these kinds of jobs and you're like, oh, females can't do it. And that's what this day is about showing young women that they can become skilled trade workers. Just ask the woman leading the workshops here at the Plumbers and Pipefitters Union in Meriden. Just seeing that kind of excitement and like actually wanting to be in a trade, I just think it's awesome. The program exposes Girl Scouts to electrical work, metal work, carpentry, painting, woodworking, and more. And this is the welding station where Girl Scouts are learning how to cut a piece of steel with a cutting torch. So I'm going to give it a shot. These workshops are part of an effort to encourage women to join underrepresented fields. By coming here, you, you put a little seed in and they'll hopefully remember it when they're making a career choice later. And they get to see all that they are capable of accomplishing. Uh, I think it's great that there's an opportunity for girls to be getting into this at such a young age. And these lessons are already making a difference. Like I would want to do welding even though it's kind of scary. Reporting in Meriden, Ayagawal, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.